So what about these quads then? Do they only work under the feet of dedicated professionals sailing very big, very fast waves? Or is their appeal wider than that? Well, I'm here in Mauritius doing one of my clinics. And the great thing about this place is that the conditions suit a variety of standards. You've got the lagoon where I've got people brushing up on carved giants and water starts. And out there, some proper big waves where people are getting into down the line wave riding where they need the right tools. Anyway, what I've done is given this board, the 92 quad, my absolute favourite, to a variety of people and just see what they think. Now, I have to say that their comments are completely unprompted and they are true recreational windsurfers. Lawrence has been windsurfing on and off for about 20 years. He's had the odd wave session, but it's mostly been bump and jump. His normal choice of board is a single wind free wave around the 100 mark. He has the flamboyance of youth and really likes to hoof the edge and crank the turns, but too much sometimes, so the quad might suit him. Okay. So this quad, I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Okay. Just want you to go out and just see if you think it's the sort of board you could get on with, okay? Fantastic. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. Okay, that's not strictly true. I did give all our testers just two tips. One was to be easy on the back foot when sailing along and when carving. And secondly, in the same vein, I got them to open up the front straps, as it's only when the toes are across the centre line that they can use the front foot to carve. Let's have a look, see if that's far enough through. Okay, that's better, yeah. And now the other one, the one you just opened, that should be right across the centre line. Yeah, that's fair, that's it. Good stuff. Action. Action! Like meeting a new partner, first impressions of a new board should be positive. Of course, you always have to adapt to a new sensation, but hopefully not to the extent where your style is corrupted. Good news here is that Lawrence pops straight onto the plane and settles into his normal fast stance. On the first jibe attempt, he was taken a bit by surprise. But after a few minutes, well, Lawrence has been on a few of my courses before, but this honestly is the best jibe I've seen him do. In the past, he used to bounce out and or over rotate, but on the quad, he felt that the rail would hold and that gave him the confidence to really drive forward. Just look how much rail there is in the water. so fast, just throws you out the jibes. And so I think that was one of my first really felt like planing out almost. I just, yeah, felt beautiful. It Foot seems like... felt a little bit wide for me. Yeah, well that's um, a wave set up, so that would be so normal. I'm, I, I, that would take some getting used to, but yeah, it felt really light, mm. felt light and nimble, and just trying to, just coming in when I was avoiding hair, just, just be able to manage to weave her around and it kept all the edges down, kept really stable. Lovely, I could definitely take that home with me. Graham is a very different animal to Lawrence. Being more mature by a couple of decades, he's not quite as gung-ho, with no real interest in tackling breaking waves. He's more of a blasting speed merchant, which suits the mainly choppy conditions of his native Essex. He makes most of his jives, but tends to be a bit cautious and end up on the back foot. The quad might make him more confident in that area, and my gut feeling is that he'll miss the raw power and direction of that big single fin. We'll see. So Graham, That's first up. time on a quad, right? Yep, first time. First time. How long have you been sailing? Nine years. Nine years, okay. So and you're? Usually sail 95 um, on a 5.7 today I would normally sail, so first experience on a multi-fin board. That's official, go! <laughs> For the first few manoeuvres, you can tell Graham is feeling his way and is a bit in the back seat. But then, well, there seems to be something about the quad that makes people feel secure when it comes to the corners and encourages them to cut loose. And honestly, I've never seen Graham take up these kind of angles before. Okay, he blows it, but who cares? He's found another level. 
But it doesn't really matter what I think. Well done, Graham. How was that? Well, that First was good, impressions? That was good, Pete. It was uh, not what I expected. Um, it got away much more quickly than I expected. Um, didn't have any problems getting up and planing. Um, I was very gentle on the back foot, as you suggested. Yeah. But um, it got up and went without any bother at all. I saw the jibe on the inside. And when you got on the front foot, it went around so fast, you actually ended up dropping off the back, which was yeah. a good sign. I mean, it, yeah. it, it caught me out. The first time it caught me out, it did go around very quickly once you get the edge in. It went around very quickly. Now, you're an Essex boy. Essex so you do boy. Quite, quite a lot of sort of estuary choppy sailing. Would it be a board you'd... you'd, you'd yeah, yeah it would be great in the estuary, I think. It would uh, work well, particularly on the jives, you know, when you've got the chop and you want to get around quickly and not get caught by, by something catching you up on, on the way in. I think it would work OK. Thanks very much. Pleasure, Pete. Thanks very much. I bought it back undamaged. <laughs> <laughs>